Ring Rampage here. And today, we're back with another exciting installment video. That's right, we are back with another video. This is Wrestling Rampage. I'm Joey. I'm Tommy. I'm Thomas. You're who now? I'm Thomas, baby. Uh, today, we're going to be doing the, the WWE Backlash 2017 predictions. Coming this Sunday, May 21st, 2017. A little known fact that it is the first day of my vacation. I have a week's paid vacation. Thank fucking God. So I'm going to be able to watch uh, Backlash in, in its entirety. You know, we might have a little... Uh, a little something for it. You know, just, right. uh, just, just, just pay attention. That's right. Uh, Backlash uh, 2017 is a SmackDown... Hair there or something? Oh, a little bit there. Got it off, dude. It's good. It is a SmackDown exclusive pay per view for SmackDown Live. No kid. You sure about that? You knew that? Yeah. Yeah. That's why I'm sure. repping the Daniel Bryan shirt today for SmackDown Live. Uh, it is sponsored by Rocket League. Same thing as NXT TakeOver Chicago. It is at the Allstate Arena in Rosemont, Illinois. Um, same place that uh, Takeover Chicago is going to be. Yes. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and get started with the kickoff match, which is the Perfect Ten. Ty Dillinger takes on Aiden English. Well, so ha <laughs> hands down, I'm going with Ty Dillinger. Hands down, Ty Dillinger pops. Ty Dillinger, like I said, is going to be a run through. Bad. I, I'd, I'd probably say that match will probably last about 15 minutes. 15? Sure. I'll give it 15. I go 5. Uh, I'm going to go with Ty Dillinger as well. Uh, Aiden English, uh, hey, I thought he's been fat floundering ever since he even fucking started. Yeah, he's been uh, floundering even with, with Simon, without Simon. <laughs> it don't fucking matter. He's been floundering anyway. So, and by the way, the Bob villains suck anyway. <laughs> well, well, when it comes down to it, uh, when Ty Dillinger beats him, I want to know if, if Aiden English is going to cry again. Yeah. Uh, that's what usually his uh, scenario to what, what are you doing right now. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I expect the alligator tears to flow. Uh, we got the second match, which is uh, former tag team partners. Former Wyatt uh, family members in Luke Harper uh, takes on Eric Rowan. I'm going with Luke Harper. Okay. I know a couple weeks on SmackDown on Eric Rowan beat him. That was just a fluke. Eric Rowan barely wins matches. Uh, but he's losing here at Backlash to Luke Harper. I'm going with Luke Harper. Luke Harper. Pops, Luke Harper, uh, Eric Rowan. I also am going with Luke Harper. I, I, I mean, for, 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 for the last, uh, uh, you know, that I've seen his matches, I, I, I really got, got to like his style. I, I mean, it's Smash Mouth right there, right there in your face. Hey, I, I think he's a damn good job. I, you know, I didn't notice how, I, when, I, when I first, back to when I first seen it, I didn't think he was going to be that good. But he's really showed me something. I mean, hey. I like, I like his style, man. I'm also going to go with Luke Harper as well. Um, finally, he changed, uh, changed into the uh, black uh, tank top instead of the, 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 the dingy white tank top that he was wearing. And uh, I heard some... Now, now, these are rumors now. Rumors are rumors. Eric Rowan is supposed to be having uh, his own faction. And he has this like, evil clown gimmick thing. And... He's supposed to be bringing Sister Abigail. I'm like, uh, isn't that like Bray Wyatt's thing? Uh, yeah, that's, that's the kind of that thing. It seems like me, like, uh, like, like that's what's going to happen. What are they doing? Going to change roles? Maybe it's a good, it, it's a good tool to maybe get Eric Rowan over, because uh, in my opinion, he he was the weakest person in the Wyatt family. Yeah. Um, but Luke Harper, all three. Ty Dillinger, all three. So we're gonna go in the next match, which is. The underdog from down under, Sami Zayn, taking on one of Tommy's favorites on SmackDown, the Lone Wolf, Baron Corbin. Well, you already know who I'm going with in this one. All right, all right. I'm going with the Lone Wolf, 
Barry Corbin. Barry Corbin. You know, Sami Zayn, the flavor of the month. You know, he comes into SmackDown Live. You know, comes sniveling to the people. That's you know, favorite slides, right? Yeah. There. He comes sniveling either, to the people. It's either it's either sniveling to the people or it's a fluke. As no, it comes or, sniveling to the people. Well, I, I I don't recall that or I didn't see that. You know, saying, we're and, just, and we're, then he's all upset. This is his profile. This, all he's this. all upset all because Barry Corbin attacked him. Barry, Cor on, uh, Barry Corbin attacked him on SmackDown, uh, talking smack, and he's mad all because he attacked him. Well, he was just letting him know, letting him know where he was, okay? Where he stood, uh, huh? Yeah. You know, so Barry Corbin is going to put the end of days on Old Hat. One, two, three. Barry Corbin beats Sami Zayn. Pops. Well, I'm pretty sure that uh, Barry Corbin will know where he's at because Sammy, he'll be looking right across from Sami Zayn. I'm going with Sami Zayn because this right here time, things are going to be a little bit different. Are you saying he ain't attacking him from behind he's not, this gonna, time? he's not going to be attacking from behind. It's going to be face I don't to face. I don't recall him Unless, attacking anybody well, from behind. Exactly. We all repeat that right there. I don't recall this. I don't. I, I didn't see that. <laughs> this right here time is going to be face. Unless, unless, and this right here has happened a while. I'm sure you all people know. He, it, 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 if Sammy Zane comes out first, Baron Corman will attack him then. That will be the only time that that, that that I can see that he'll face him. He won't face nobody face to face. I've seen it done so. He always faces everyone face to face. Uh -huh. I'm going to go with Sammy Zane as well. Go with the wrong people. Uh, Sammy Zane, I like Sammy Zane, I always have. Um, I, you know, I just, I just haven't been a big fan of Corbin. Uh, I, I like Baron Corbin. Uh, you know, of course you do. He's, he, he, he's like you. He's actually people from behind. He, 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 he don't see things that, that are, are actually there. He, he puts things in imagination. Like, well, I didn't see, I, I didn't see him grab a hold of the rope. Oh, well, I didn't see him hit with that chair. Uh, of course, you guys are, are the cut from the same cloth. Next match is a six-woman tag match when the weak-ass name, the welcoming committee with uh, that consists of Carmella, Natalia, Tamina, and on the outside, James Ellsworth. Okay. Duh! And what's Ellsworth doing there? No kidding? There you go. Takes on the team of Becky Lynch, Charlotte Flair, and the WWE SmackDown Live Women's Champion, Naomi. Well, I'm going to have to go with Becky Lynch, Naomi, and Charlotte. Okay, and why is it? Because, because, fuck, Natalia has to carry two anchors. Three counting Ellsworth. <laughs> uh, Natalia can't do it on her own. And, uh, and, but like Charlotte said, she admitted to it. I'll team with you and get rid of these welcoming committee people. And once that's done, I'm coming for the SmackDown Women's Championship. You know, so she already told yeah. told told Naomi that she's gonna gonna knock that glow out of her. So he, she already told her that. So, but I'm going with Naomi, Becky Lynch, and Charlotte. Pops. I go with Naomi, Becky Lynch, and Charlotte. Uh, you know, several times, you know, it's been interference. You know that 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 the welcome committee has has won. The only way that I can really see this right here coming down. It, 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 for the for the work committee is if Elworth gets in, it gets gets uh, interfered. We all know we've seen it happen before. He did it. He did it once. Yeah, but uh, but I don't think Naomi. Uh, well, she, she probably snatch a ball as she says, and we already know that Becky Lynch and and uh, and Charlotte Flair isn't too keen. Uh, they'll uh, they'll smack the shit out of Elworth. So. I agree with that. Uh, I'm 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 going for Charlotte. Uh, the, the Glow Girl and Becky Lynch, but I just want to know one thing. I I do admit I I I, I you know, Tommy's right. You know, at, she she, she the, when when they signed the contract, Charlotte Charlotte looked at them and said, "I'm, I'm going to team with you guys. I'm going to team with you guys to get rid of the get rid of the Roker Committee." And she turned around and said, "But the minute this is over, I'm going after that title." I'm also going to go with Becky Lynch, Charlotte. Uh, Flair and Naomi. Uh, like Tommy says, uh, uh, <coughs> Natalia is is the only one that 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 has her head above the water uh, because Tamina sucks, uh, Carmella sucks, 
Uh, yeah, who cares that Carmella actually got a win over fucking Naomi? That, that was fucking. Uh, <laughs> well, to be honest, it was. <laughs> that was actual fluke. Yeah. I'll say that much. You know, you you uh, you, you had to ha hand 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 it to you know, to to the rest to, to to the rest of them out there, and you also have to hand it to to Ellsworth because he's the one that grabbed her and pushed her out. You know. That's, so I'm I'm also gonna go with uh, Lynch, Flair, and Naomi. Uh, but I, 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 you know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of disappointed that the that the SmackDown Live Women's Championship isn't defended uh, on the SmackDown exclusive paper. Yeah, I did too. Um, but, but you see, like Tommy said, and I said, uh, Charlotte's already laid her cards on the table. And you know, after this right here, she says she wants a title shot, and she'll get it too. Next match is uh, this is going to be a rocket buster. As uh, Taz used to say, we get Dolph Ziggler taking on the debut of Shinsuke Nakamura. Ten minutes. Well, you know, Dolph Ziggler's worn out his welcome. <coughs> oh, yeah. He's, uh... For me, I used to be a Dolph Ziggler fan, not anymore. You're old, buddy. It, it's, you're fucking showing off and all this. You haven't been setting the world on fire anymore. And, and even with this heel thing, you haven't been doing shit. The last time he set the world on fire was last year at No Mercy when he actually beat the Miz for the Intercontinental Final. And there's Ever since thing, that, he's been There's back. only one thing I enjoyed out of this of Dolph Ziggler. One thing. Yeah. It's when he mentioned Shinsuke Nakamura's shit footage, not bam. Well, you had to look at his NXT shit, but he didn't want to do that, I Well, guess. look at his NXT shit. Look uh, at his shit in New Japan Pro Wrestling. You know, but uh, I'm going with Shinsuke Nakamura. Well, I mean, yeah. Because Dolph Ziggler never wins. I'm going with Shinsuke Nakamura? Mm -hmm. But Dolph Ziggler, uh, don't get me wrong, I I really do think he's got talent. Uh, I, 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 Tommy, you know, I, I was against Tommy all the way because he first liked him. And I and I got to see what 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 he can do and everything, and I and I got to like like Dolph Ziggler. But now, uh, it seems like to me like he is having a grudge against the new talent that's coming in there. Like, he, I, I I I think actually he's afraid he's going to lose his spot, which well, I does, really don't have a spot. Well, anyway. really don't have think, spot you know, that's what I was going to get to. I really don't think he's got a spot anyway, but. Uh, I, I really th think that he's just got a problem with the, with, with the new guys coming in. Uh, I'm also a uh, clean sweep. Uh, I'm going to go with Shinsuke Nakamura as well. You know, the pay-per-view is based around this is Shinsuke Nakamura's in-ring debut in the WWE. Uh, even, though he has faced, yeah. even though he has faced Dolph Ziggler on uh, dark matches after yeah. SmackDown goes off the air, uh, you know, of course, you know, it's not actually legal, legal yeah. his debut. Uh, you know, so, uh, uh, you know, and, and the whole pay-per-view is built around that. You know, you got the picture of Nakamura with the with the kick and everything else. Yep. So, you know, I'm pretty sure Nakamura's going to yeah, win. You, yeah, you want to know something, though? What's that? Sunday, everybody's going to sing. <laughs> That's right. Everybody sings the song anyway. Yeah. Oh, here, here we go. Another fucking rocket buster right here. And I already know who the fuck you motherfuckers are going for. <laughs> and I'm going against you guys. And I already know this for a fact. WWE SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships on the line when the Uggos, the Usos, put their titles on the line against Brizongo. Well, can I go ahead and go first? Yes. The fashion Pope sweep, right? The fashion Popos ain't going to do a goddamn thing. I'm, this is a rare time I'm going with the Usos. I'm Me going too. with their sweatpants ass. I'm going with the Usos with their day one-ish <laughs> t-shirt and their fucking shitty hats. This is the first time I'm going with the Usos. I'm going for the Usos. Pops. I'm also going with the Usos. It's, it's, it's the first time for me. I don't, I don't know really that much. I don't even on. like the Usos. Uh, so their greasy hair, their their shirts that I don't understand. But they're, go, they're going up against the Popos. And really it's going to... It's, it's actually funny. Uh, those guys right there kind of look to me a kind of funny way. Uh, but anyway... Tyler Breeze and Fidango don't stand a chance. They're going to get stepped on, walked on, kicked on, and when the one, two, three comes down, it sure ain't going to be Fidango on top. 
I totally disagree with you guys. I think come SmackDown, uh, well, well, come SmackDown, the exclusive pay-per-view for Backlash 2017, they're going to walk in, but they're going to walk out as the tag team champions. Breezango is going to walk out the new WWE SmackDown Live tag team champions. The Fashion Popo, they're going to walk in. Uh, the challengers are going to walk out the champions, oh. and that, they're going to have the. After that, they're going to have the fucking fashion files. Wee wee wee. After that, and everything else, guaranteed. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's already I'm, a wrap. I'm sorry. I, 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 you're, I think you're you're fantasizing too much. Uh, yeah, they're going to walk in, but uh, they'll probably be carried out. <laughs> <laughs> as long as they're carried out with those. Tag team tiles around their waist, that's all that matters. I didn't say, I didn't say tag tie, tiles <laughs> going to be up around their waist, I just said they're going to be carried out. <laughs> Next match is for the WWE United States Championship when the face of America, Kevin Owens, the champion, takes on the phenomenal AJ Styles. This is going to be a rocket buster. This is going to be a rocket buster. This is going to be a great fucking match. This, uh, to be honest with you, this, this one's probably going to be the match of the night. It should be the main event, guys. But uh, it won't be. Will. I mean, we uh, if we think something's going to be the main event, most usually it's not. Uh, that's, that's the way our record is there. I'm going to have to go with AJ Styles. I like Kevin Owens, but... AJ Styles, man. I gotta go with AJ Styles. Well, Jinder Mahal holds a victory over AJ Styles because of Kevin Owens. Yeah. Kevin Owens hit uh, hit AJ's uh, uh, knee with the United States Championship. And, uh, you know. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to go with AJ Styles. Uh, Pops. Uh, May, I was thinking, well, I like them both. I, was, uh, I, I don't, I, you know, I, I, like, I like Kevin Owens too. Uh, and, and I'm wondering. Exactly, you know, because because when he got hit with that belt, it looked, it looked like he went down hard and his hung on to his knee, grabbing it. Uh, you think his knee will rehab before I, Sunday? I, that's that's what I'm afraid of. Now, if if AJ is not a 100 uh, uh, percent, uh, Kevin Owens and Kevin Owens is great. Kevin Owens is going to capitalize on that right there. And I'm going to put it this right here: if his leg is still hurt, I look for Kevin Owens to take it. But if AJ comes in there and and, he, and his and his knee ain't, ain't bothering, we're gonna have a new, a new United States champion. What are you going with? Uh, I, I I I gotta go with AJ. Got to. Uh, but but I'm, I'm just promoting the facts that of, of what I've seen. I'm I'm gonna have to say that Kevin Owens is going to uh, regain his United States championship. Uh, you know this. Uh, this face of America thing is getting getting over pretty well, and uh, you know he's well. I wouldn't he, mind if he's Kevin taking Owens over the highlight reel as Kevin Owens' is highlight reel. Well, I won't be upset if Kevin Owens beats him. You know? Either way, it's a win-win. Yeah. Now, now don't get me wrong. Uh, everybody wants to see AJ in a top spot. I'd rather see him go for the WWE Championship than the United States yeah. Championship. Yeah. Uh, uh, to, 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 to me, United he's States. He's getting a consolation but, prize. But, uh, yeah, the United States title. I mean, really, what does it mean anymore? Uh, not much, you know. Uh, like I said, I, I can go either way with this one right here because, you know, I, I, I'm like you. I would rather see AJ hold the world title yeah. one more time. Uh, well, I wouldn't mind that match being swift with, with the main event, which uh, the main event is the WWE Championship is on the line when the champion, the Viper, Randy Orton, takes on the Morale Lahaj, whatever his fucking name is. <laughs> what is he again? Bahaj you do the Bahaj you do Uh Gender Mahal. You mean Ginger Mahal. Ginger Mahal. Well, you know, how the fuck did he get this spot? That's what I wanna know. How the fuck did Gender Mahal well, he won that six-pack challenge. Though. Yeah, and that's been Well with the help of the with the help of the Well this well well with the help of the fucking Bollywood boys, and to be honest, the Bollywood boys ain't no help. AKA the Singh brothers. The Singh brothers, the fuck out. Bollywood, fuck. Singh brothers, booty brothers, whatever they want to call ourselves. <coughs> you know, the fucking Bollywood boys suck. And I'm going with Randy Orton. Hands down, Randy Orton. Jinder Mahal don't even deserve to be in that spot. 
And he's not going to beat Randy Orton. Yeah, he got some wins, but they were tag matches. You know, what the fuck? That'll prove nothing. Or the Singh brothers got a loss. Or the Singh brothers helped him win. Or, you know, all he did was beat him in a six-man tag or a tag team match. He, he, he's never beat him in a single match. And, you know, and every time. But I think Randy Orton can handle them Singh brothers. And he can handle Jinder Mahal just fine. I know he can. So I'm going with Randy Orton. Randy Orton retains the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Bobby. Jinder Mahal bites the dust. Okay, I'm gonna put it on his TV right here. Does he go back to jobbing? Yes, he's going back to doing <laughs> uh, what he does best, like he did on Raw. The only way I'm gonna put it to you plain, the only way that I see Jinder Mahal getting the world title is the Bollywood boys, the Singh boys, or the Bodhi boys, or whatever they will call themselves, interfere in it. And I expect that right here to happen. But I also suspect one other thing. I also suspect that the referee will catch him. So who you going? So who you go, go up, with? Randy Orton. Randy Orton. Uh, I'm also going to go with Randy Orton as well. Uh, I don't uh, like. Um, I'll have to say this about Jinder Mahal. He has a good look to him. Yes, I agree. He's ripped. He really is. He is. Uh, and I like the way that he was booked. Uh, he's not booked as a dominant wrestler. He's booked as the coward. Well, not the coward, but uh, the a person that needs that needs the assistance of the Singh brothers. Yeah, which it works out. The, you know, the Bollywood boys, India. You know, Jinder Mahal from India. It works. I like how they're booking Jinder Mahal. It's just I don't like Jinder Mahal. That's that's me. So I'm gonna go with Randy Orton. That's me. I don't like Jinder Mahal. I don't think, like I said before, and I'll say it again, I'll say it right here, that I, that I don't think that Jinder Mahal can't get, I don't think that they could put, his, put, 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 put the company on his shoulders for a world title and expect him to take it off. I don't think he can. Or if he does, he's going to be this one top shot champion. Well, he'll be a Zack Ryder. Exactly, that's what yeah. I'm saying. He, he'll lose it directly and as I, soon as yeah. he wins it. Exactly, I agree. I agree with that. I do with it. I don't think he's going to be one of those uh, transitional <laughs> champions into like a next generation or to a next great performer, I think he's just going to be a standby champion if he does it. That'll be it. I don't look for him winning. I, I, I don't look for it. It's, uh, it, it's kind of shady to me. So, yeah. But that was WWE Backlash 2017 predictions. Don't forget in the comments below to let us know who you think is going to win this coming Sunday at Backlash live on the WWE Network for only $9.99. Or free to new subscribers. Yeah. Uh, but if you haven't got the WWE Network by now, what the fuck are you waiting for? Yeah, get it now. You don't want to be paying them fucking uh, the, Hell the, no. the, the cable bill. Uh, 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 yeah, don't be paying the cable. The nine ninety nine. We got it. We're gonna be and we're gonna be right there. That's right. Right in front of the TV watching. That's it. That's what we're gonna be doing. No so, interruptions. No interruptions. <laughs> Uh, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash WrestlingRampage2. Follow us on Twitter, at WrestleRampage. Hit that subscribe button. we got more videos coming. We always do right here on WrestleRampage. Go roll on out. Every, each and single week right here on WrestleRampage. You got it. New content. Mr. Yes Man, why don't you show us out? If you don't subscribe right here to Wrestling Rampage, what the fuck are you doing?